Linda and welcome to Raining in My Dystonia. Whoops. I am. Today I'm practicing driving a trailer. Hauling a trailer. Not driving a trailer. Practicing hauling a trailer. With a horse in it. <laughs> yeah, I probably shouldn't be doing this. Actually, I am just um, practicing in the neighborhood on. Um, a back road of the neighborhood driving like 10 and 20 miles an hour <laughs> anyway um i'm hoping to take smoky to my friend's house this week and and uh, play a little bit and she i'm not sure how many miles she lives from me but I will probably drive like 40 and 50 miles an hour all the way there because I got one of my um, most precious possessions in the back of the trailer. For those of you who don't have a horse and don't haul horses and when you're driving on the highways and you get behind somebody who's a horse trailer with horses in it. Um, just keep in mind when you're getting irritated because they're going slow or if they're not well driving fast enough going slow same thing um, or whatever they might be doing that's kind of irritating you because it's slowing you down um, please keep in mind that our one of our or our most worldly possession living possession possession is in the back of that trailer okay so think of it if you have kids or you don't have kids but your dogs or just think of that hauling around a trailer with your most precious precious possessions in the back of it. Keep that in mind when you're behind a trailer with horses the next time. That's why we're driving slow. That's why we're being extra careful because we don't want to wreck. We don't want to wreck and hurt other people. We don't want to wreck and hurt ourselves. We don't want to wreck and total our pickups or our trailers. And the thing we most of all do not want to do is to hurt our most precious, precious, that's a hard word for a dystonia speaking problem patient. And the thing most of all we don't want to hurt is our most precious possession that's in that trailer. So, that's just an FYI to, to you non-horse people. Anyway, so I just thought I'd do this little quick video to tell people, you know, um, maybe just keep that in mind. The next time you're stuck, stuck behind a slow moving horse trailer. Thank y'all. Have a great day. I'm going to go out on the highway a minute. That should be fun. <laughs> Bye.